Welcome to the Cheese Grater Building. Uh -huh. I'm just kidding. It's called the Broad. Is the Broad worth visiting? This is definitely a yes because you can see a lot of contemporary art here from the 1950s to the present time. It's one of the most famous museums here in the U.S. In this video, I will share with you how to make your visit to the Broad worth visiting. And off we go. Admission is always free here because it is a personal collection of Edith and Eli and they're so rich that they want to give back. That's all there is. <laughs> I think I just have to quickly go over a couple guidelines. If you step onto a great rectangular right platform, the rest of the floor is all made of mirrors, so just have to stay on the platform only. You have one minute per group. Uh, when the time is up, my colleague probably not going to go open the door for you. So if you take picture video, just no flash. Otherwise, when they leave, I'll say you guys it. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm. What's the stay what do I think about the infinity room? It's kind of like super tiny inside, but it's magical. Another tip for you is during Thursdays, 5 p.m. onwards, actually 5 to 8, the paid exhibition is free. So I'm in a good timing because it's Thursday today. Another tip here is that food and beverage is not allowed, so come here not hungry. There's a food truck in front if you're not picky, and there's also a cafe and bakery, pizza restaurant, and of course, Autrium if you want to dine there. So Autrium is kind of fancy, you need reservation for it, but I heard the chef is pretty good. The Broad actually has a free mobile guide, you just have to bring your headphones. There are two floors to check out here. The first floor is where the infinity room is and William Kentridge. And the third floor, which has the popular artists. This is Roy Lichtenstein's, one of the founder of American pop art. I'm sorry, so sorry. Photography is allowed in here. It's even like professional cameras, but you can do flash and no tripod. I'm kind of sad that the two Marilyns are not displayed on Andy Warhol, but it's alright. Maybe next time I'll come back here again. This is my favorite part of the gallery, which is Jeff Koon, amongst everything. But there's so many favorites right now because they're all amazing, but I must say this made me smile. We are now at Jean Michael Basquiat's work. Jean Michel Basquiat. Basquiat's work celebrates histories of black art, music, poetry, as well as religious and everyday traditions of black life. He was keenly aware of racism. Welcome to Norms, where life happens 24 7. <laughs> There's five artists that are mainstay here, but the other ones are really pretty cool too. These are all live casts, so what they would do is that they would put plaster on the real people um, as they, you know, posed, and then of course take it off after it hardened, kind of like how um, teeth you know, when they like fit you for racism junk. This is and then use those molds to create the um, fiberglass for the statues you see before you today. Going up, you take the escalator and going down, you can do the stairs and you might visit the second floor, which has their storage and you can peep right through and see some of the artists, but they're in storage right now. It's not really on display, but it's kind of fun to know that you can do that. The second floor also gives you the history of the broad. If you're interested, it's found on the second floor.
that was pretty cool I was here from 5 p.m. and right now it's 7 p.m. which is a perfect time two hours not that bad I hope you enjoyed this video please do tell me stories about the broad if you've been here I'd like to read your comments and suggestions see you next time and off I go welcome to norms where life happens 24 7